قال المؤلف رحمه الله السادسة عشر نرى دعوة الإخوان المسلمين غير غادرة وغير صالحة لإصلاح المجتمع إذ قد أصبحت دعوة سياسية, سياسية لا, رو لا روحية وأيضا دعوة مبتدعة لأنها تدعو إلى مبايعة مجهول ودعوة فتنة لأنها قائمة على جهل وسائرة على جهل وننصح بعض, وننصح بعض الإخوة العاملين فيها من الأفاضل بالتخلي عنها حتى لا يضيع وقتهم فيما لا ينفع الإسلام والمسلمين وعلى المسلم أن يكون, أن يكون همه أن الله ينصر الإسلام والمسلمين Number 16 We hold that the da'wah, the call of the Ikhwan al-Muslimin, the Muslim Brotherhood is incapable and unfit to bring about the rectification of the society Indeed, their da'wah has become political, not religious. It is also a da'wah of innovation because it calls to making a pledge of allegiance to someone unknown. It is a da'wah of fitna, trial and tribulation, because it is founded upon ignorance and it traverses upon ignorance. We advise some of the noble brothers who work within it to abandon it and to not waste their time with that which does not benefit Islam and the Muslims. The concern of the Muslim should be that Allah aids Islam and the Muslims. Commentary. The position of the Salafi scholars towards the Muslim Brotherhood was not dictated by current events in the Middle East or regional politics, as some erroneously claim. Now, because people on the internet, they say the only reason that Saudi Arabia outlawed in the last few years the Muslim Brotherhood is because of the politics of the Middle East, which is not true. Look, Sheikh Mubi rahimahullah, Naam, what year did the Sheikh die? 2001. 2001, he's speaking here about the Muslim Brotherhood. So it wasn't about any politics. It was about the errors that they have in their aqidah, some of them, and the errors that they have in their methodology. That is why they were criticized, not because of politics. This was the position of Sheikh Mubil and other than him, Sheikh Al-Albani and others. Naam, to the extent that Sheikh Ibn Ubaz, rahimahullah, they are Sheikh Ibn Ubaz. Are a tabligh and al-ikhwan from the misguided sects and a Sheikh Ibn Ubaz rahimahullah he said yes they are from the misguided sects Nam. also ikhwan just briefly inshallah ta'ala without going into too much detail about this you see the danger of the organizations in the west like yaqeen like isna ikna and the likes of these organizations with regards to their methodologies, they're more interested in politics than educating the people. They're more interested in siyasa, politics, than educating the people. And you see, subhanAllah, strange things from them. Like, for example, the head of Yaqeen, there was, a, I think, a protest at the border, and you see him taking part in a libation, which he said that he retracted from, you know, which is an act of worship with the non-Muslims, <coughs> pouring water on the the ground, wal-iyadu billah. But again, it was a political rally, and the problem with them is that the end justifies the means. You see this type of methodology, and we see the danger that it has upon the communities, and yes, these organizations, likewise, they exist in the West. That is why we cannot, again, like I mentioned at the beginning, some of the graduates from Medina, when they come home, when they were in Saudi Arabia, they, you know, supposedly, they were upon the way of the Salaf, but when they come back to the West, they join these organizations. Again, our religion, alhamdulillah, is our, our religion in Saudi Arabia, and the same as our religion in America. The Prophet sallallahu said, what? Ittaqillah haythu ma kunt, wa atbi'a sayyata al-hasana tamhuha, wa khaliq al-nas bi khuluqin hasan. Fear Allah wherever you are, not just in Saudi Arabia. Fear Allah wherever you are. Now, and practice the religion correctly in Saudi Arabia, and practice the religion correctly, Naam, likewise in America or wherever you go in the dunya, Naam.